Hi everybody, I'm at the Wiki booth and I'm talking to Tiki, which is no longer Tiki Wiki. Exactly. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Alexander Mette. I'm at on the internet. Why did you lose the Wiki part? Because Tiki Wiki had grown quite a lot and had added a lot of other features, file galleries, bug trackers, forums. So Tiki Wiki was uh, just too narrow and we figured like we lose the Wiki part or we actually, we are were named Tiki Wiki CMS Groupware. Exactly. So now it's just Tiki, and we're happy with that one. So what is? Yeah, you basically explained it, but give us a brief rundown of what Tiki is and what it's, you know, what it's trying to do. It is. Uh, I like to say it is a wiki-based uh, content management system. Because it started out as a wiki and it has a very strong wiki with a strong plugin architecture, lots of additional features you can put into the wiki, and then it has all the other things that you can use for web content management around it, and it has more or less become kind of a framework. Like when you, we have some social, uh, social media sites uh, that like, uh, how do you call it, like Facebook or stuff, and, but just for smaller communities, they are built with Tiki and you can use the features in there to create such sites too. So it's very multifunctional in that regard. So what have you been, uh, what, any major news in the last year that has occurred? Major milestones. Well, we have a, um, an LTS model of releases. We release every half year and every three years uh, we release a long-term support version that is supported for five years as far as I remember now. And the last of that one was uh, Tiki 15 and that was uh, with integrating Bootstrap as the CSS framework so that we now have uh, responsive design also for mobile devices, etc. Very nice, very nice. Coming forward this year, what are the plans? Uh, well, we do not really have plans in that re uh, ah, Planning's for whims. Exactly. Like we, <laughs> we develop organically, so uh, to say. So organic development. Well as long as we have just three rules in our development process, and uh, the first one is uh, respect the environment, then make it optional. It's actually the third one. Commit early and commit often, and the third one, make it optional. So as long as you adhere to these rules, you can come with your ideas, you can implement them, and you can get them into the main core distribution. And uh, so we seriously develop according to the needs of our users. Excellent. Anything else that you want to mention before I move on? No, just uh, peace, love, and tiki, and thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much.